Alright, welcome back good people. On this video, I want to share with you some, uh, what I call uh, mind benders. Some things that I'm going to share with you and I want you to think about what they make, how they make you feel as I name them, right? And these are going to be in line with what are some differences between men and women, right? Now, some of this, you won't have to do any thinking. You'll automatically think one way. Uh, right, it's like a default. You automatically go there. But let me give you an example. Like uh, number one says, these are physical differences between men and women. Uh, different reproductive systems. Right, you know that we have different reproductive systems. Right. Number two, uh, women have much wider hips than men. Would you agree with that? Thank goodness. Right. <laughs> no. Right. Number three, men have slightly denser bones than women. That is true. Number four, on average, men are stronger than women. You see, these are comparisons, right? But these are facts, right? Because normally, it, it says on average, not all cases, but on average. Number five, on average, men weigh 15% more than women. Number six, women tend to have higher fat percentages than men. Number seven, Women's circulatory system focuses on the body core while men centers on the extremities. I did not know that. Number eight, women open the elbows more in a resting position than men. I definitely didn't know that. <laughs> Number nine, men have more tongue vision while women have wider peripheral vision. Now isn't that interesting? That was interesting to me. We, we as men are more tunnel vision driven. Uh, number 10, women can distinguish colors more easily and precisely while men can see movement better. Men have more rods while women have more cones. Hmm, what does that mean? <laughs> number 11, the visual cortex is about 25% larger for men for the higher number of rods. Number 12, women have slightly higher platelets, platelet counts and higher clotting factors than men. Men have larger platelets than women. Number 13, on average, men have higher alcohol tolerance than women. Number 14, different hormonal profiles, women have higher estrogen and Pro pro progesterone, pro-estrogen levels, while men have higher testosterone levels. Well, I knew that. Number 15, men have 10% faster reaction times during adrenaline rushes than women. I, I can see that. Could you see that? Like, from the time we have to react or we get that, that I can see that. I can see that. Number 16, men have a Y chromosome, women have a second X chromosome. Men have a Y chromosome, women have a second X chromosome. I didn't know that. Now the next segment I'm going to talk about is uh, brain differences, differences in the brain. Before I go into that though, don't forget to like these videos, share these videos, and remember I'm coming to the end of this video segment. So over this year's period, I won't name the year because I will be using these videos later, right? And that's one of the things I want you to take into consideration as you're creating your content. Because what I design, what I help you do is become a content creator in your area of expertise, right? And think about that. If you're going to create, let's say, one blog per day, and that was going to be uh, 300 words or less, but you're going to do one per day, right? Not one per week, one per day. Over a 30-day period, you will have 30 different pieces of content. But not only will you have 30 different pieces of content, but you will be smarter about that. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because you had to do the research and you had to find the content to create, to put into your words, right? And as you did that, it would guide you to other places. It would introduce you to other people. That is the world that is a disconnect 
for people who are not entrepreneurs right now because becoming an entrepreneur is really nothing more than getting paid for your hobby. Whatever your hobby is, if you really can identify what you really like to do, you can create content in line with that hobby and generate an uh, income that will allow you to live the way you want to live your life. It's possible in the 21st century. People are doing it every day. I'm doing it. People just like that go to church with you, people that go to work with you, they're doing it. You just don't know that they're doing it. Or if you do know that they're doing it, you're reluctant because of several things, basically because of your lack of knowledge or your lack of understanding. Because if you knew more, you would do more, right? And especially if you could generate an income that you could do from home, that you could do at your own pace, right? Whenever you want to, you just get get, get up and do what you want to do, right? Now, keep in mind, this is what you like to do, right? This is not like I'm requiring you to do this so that I, you can be tested on it. No, you're, you're liking, you're enjoying this. This is what you enjoy. This is your, like, hiatus in life. You're at you peace there. So you create a video, you create a 10-minute video about what you like to do with some demonstrations if you, if you can do that. If not, just talk about it. People will understand there's a beginning point for everyone. Everyone. Whoever is at the top, they began someplace. But you have to get in the game, ladies and gentlemen. You must. You can't be on the sidelines any longer. It's too late. You got to get in the game and do something. Take some bumps. Take some hits. Because if you don't do that, you won't get the results you want. You're going to get the results for someone else that they want because of your work, your eight-hour commitment to what they want to get done, and they and you call that a job. You that's fine. I'm not against jobs. I'm simply saying, if you have a job, try to create something on the side in case that job plays out. Because you see what's happening in the world today. Jobs are going away. <laughs> especially jobs that pay. So if you have a little cushion where you might be making $200, $300 extra a week from a little side business, legal, <laughs> right? Uh, then just imagine if something happened with the job where it goes away. You, you, can make, you can make it. You just increase more time doing what you were doing, and those numbers will go up. And if, if you continue doing that, you'll get better, and you can charge more. You can become more... Uh, affiliated with different people who can help you quicker, right? Because that's that's important too. You have to create a Rolodex of people who know things you don't know, know people you don't know, and that will happen. But you got to get in the game. You must get in the game. Okay. All right. Let me finish this right quick. Uh, brain differences between men and women. Uh, number one, men and women use different parts of the brain to handle the same task. Did you know that? Number two. A woman's brain is 10% smaller than a man's brain according to overall brain volume. However, it does not affect the levels of intelligence and scientists are unsure of which regions hold the volume differences. Number three, with age, the male brain shrinks faster than the female. Number four, women are more capable of managing multiple tasks following simultaneously while men while men get irritated when they have to do several things at the same time. Scientists have found this is due to the gray and white matter within the brain. Women have more white matter while men rule in the gray matter category. But men are faster to absorb information, so they are more responsive. Number five, women tend to remember all the details while men usually get in the get while men usually keep to the main point in mind. Number six, if a man is lost, he will remember the direction and the traveled distance, and a woman will remember reference points on the road. Similarly, a male driver remembers numeric value of the distance, while a woman driver usually remembers different road signs and shop windows. Now, isn't that interesting? Our uh, like focal points are totally different. Uh, number seven, men think more about men think about sex more often than women. Duh. <laughs> a study found that in a one week period, the average number of sex related thoughts in men are eighteen point six, and for women it was nine point nine. 
Now, of course, it's not true for nymphomaniacs or people with various mental disorders. Number eight, men are better at exact sciences and women at social sciences. Number nine, men and women respond differently to harsh and irritating sounds. Think about that. You know that to be true, right? Number 10, women tend to be more talkative. The pleasure center of the female brain could have to do with their social, social ability. So conversation brings more pleasure to women. Uh, women use nearly three times as many words a day as men. As usually about three times as many words as men. You see, those type of thoughts require you to go someplace, right? Because you wouldn't know that in a normal day you wouldn't be introduced to things like this. That's what I like to bring. Something that becomes thought provoking. And then you can talk to someone else. Hey, as a matter of fact, I shared this with someone else the other day. And I asked them this question. What goes to your mind when you hear this? Most people don't want to be most people. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I'm going to let you read my shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It says, ah, now you got it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, an event today, and I wanted to put that shirt on because uh, I'm going to be just representing, right? <laughs> All right. See, that's nothing that you get to do. You get to have fun, right? You get to go at your own pace. Because why? It's your world. It's your world. You make it what you want to. People are attracted to you for you, not because you're trying to act like me. They're attracted because you are being who you are. All right, quickly. Number 12, hugging a woman for 20 seconds improves her happiness and self-confidence. Number 13, men and women have different perceptions of humor. Men are more concentrated on a cheerful outcome of a story or a show, while women enjoy the subtleties of humor in general and the language of presentation. Number 14, women are more, women are by nature more sociable while men are more aggressively competitive. That is why men often fight for the same reason women may get angry, but the fact that men cannot support a long conversation with them. By the fact, okay. Number 15, the male ear is weaker than the female counterpart. That is why women can hear subtle intonations and men not always also in terms of tactical perception men lose 16 women tend to have more fully developed organizational skills 17 if a man sees a ball on the road he will probably hit it while a woman will likely pick it up number 18 female brains heat up more as more glucose is burnt and finally, number 19, men perceive speech with logic so that they hear exactly what is said, while women use their intuition and emotion. This helps women see hints and hidden meanings everywhere. <laughs> That's why they can read through us, right? When we were trying to tell a story or lie or something like that, they can read through that because they have that superpower, that special ability, right? Now you know, so you have to go better from another direction when you're explaining things. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that short segment. I'm trying to, again, keep these videos at 10 minutes or less. I'm getting better, but I'm also getting to the end, and I can't wait for the next thing. The next thing for me and my system is creating an online course. Now, this online course, I'll be able to sell at various places just like I do other things, but I can charge a higher price point, so I won't have to sell as many uh, items as uh, to get as much cash right but it's not about the cash it's about me doing what i love doing and helping sharing helping you get your system up so that you can do the same thing right all right again like these videos share these videos my name is larry james my company is that's right that's right and i'll see you on the next video